Hi, I'll have a barrage of treehouse reviews coming because I bought $275 worth of beer when I was there. And one of the beers is Pride and Purpose. Treehouse's somewhat newish uh, pale ale. I actually drank a couple of these, went down real easy. It didn't seem like I liked it quite as much as uh, tr the Treehouse regular pale ale, Light Song. I think they brew that one the most. That one's a little bit stronger. This one's only 5.1. And it's super simple, only pale malts, they tell you that. They often don't tell you the malts, exactly. And then it's mostly galaxy with a hint or a touch of citra, they say. And it was canned about, let's see, less than three weeks ago, pretty fresh. Got my rainbow tree glass that I just picked up. So let's do it. Pretty hazy. I remember it being pretty dry and spicy and not, the yeast seemed almost a little bit muted in comparison to some of the other beers. And it's not ultra hazy. There's some light coming through there. I'm, I can see my finger shadow. <clears throat> very nice head and carbonation as usual. And very pale, one of the palest beers actually I would probably say. Makes sense because of the use of only pale barley malt. Mm -hmm. It's it's got some other doughy, malty, yeasty thing you always get. And the galaxy is not super dank or green. It's just bringing some unripe tropical notes, floral notes, unripe pineapple. I think the hint of citrus keeping it fruitier than it would be otherwise. It'd be mostly kind of spicy and floral. There's, yeah, there's there's some sugary candy type stuff going on in there too, but yeah, marshmallow, ambrosia salad, you know, that weird kind of trashy salad that's like tidbits of canned pineapple and marshmallow and coconut and mandarin orange wedges. But it's smelling pretty good. Uh, hard to get through all this head though. Yeah, it's not very soft. It is only 5.1% alcohol, but I feel like Light Saw had quite a bit more body to it. I mean, this one doesn't use any wheat or oats or anything that often can help, help to do that. But it's ultra refreshing. It's like, I guess, Next to Eureka, their low alcohol blonde ale. This is the most refreshing treehouse beer. And it might even be a little bit drier than that. Because when I, after the sip, it gets very spicy from the galaxy. It's still kind of, you know, kind of smooth, silky sort of feel to it, but it's not soft, I wouldn't say. It's not fluffy. It's, it's a nice feel and it finishes quite bitter and very dry. Yeah, probably one of their driest beers, now that I think about it. I just reviewed Super Typhoon, that's a double IPA from them. I was like, that's their driest beer, but this one actually might be, because it dries up my tongue, there is some perceivable bitterness, and there's not much sweetness. Usually all their beers have some kind of malty sweetness, some residual sugars. But this one seems like they fermented it very, very much, highly attenuated. But this is definitely a good one for the summertime. If you want a, you know, a potent pale ale, it's got a lot, a lot of hot punch to it for sure. But really unripe tropical fruit, fruit notes come out in the flavor. I had, I was having more, you're getting more candy-like things in the nose, but it's like really unripe melon and, and pineapple and like hard unripe peach kind of peach where you bite into it and you're like, ah, oh, that's way too early. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I'm not a huge fan of this one. I'd probably give it like a four. And it is one of the lower rated uh, hoppy beers from Treehouse, but has, still has like a 4.17 or something on tap because anything from Treehouse is gonna get a notch higher than it, maybe it should. <clears throat> if you blend this with maybe a sweeter Treehouse beer or some, some IPA that's too sweet, 
I might make the perfect combo, but it devolves into just spicy hop resin. And it's kind of one note. But really well made, so yeah, I'll give it a four. Just maybe slightly under a four. That's it. Bye.